Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Unreal Engine 5.1 Preview 2's Nanite Trees. As you all know, a couple months back, I was playing around with Nanite Foliage and Trees, but in this video, I'm going to show you how it looks now, which I think looks a lot better than the previous versions. So what we have here is the European horn beam that I downloaded from the Epic Marketplace, actually from Megascans for zero dollars. And I have here, so you can see I already nanited all of them just to kind of save time. This is 1.4 million nanite triangles. This one is 2.9, almost 3 million nanite triangles. And I have them all mixed in in this map here, the Broadleaf Forest by Mavi. So um, let's go ahead and check it out. If I go to Lit, Nanite Visualization, and then Triangles, you're going to see that we have quite a bit of these trees. And that's Nanite there as well. But like I said, it's mixed in with other trees. But there's still a lot of these million triangle trees in this map, which, again... Uh, let me go ahead and pull it on. Let, let me go ahead and put it on full screen so you can kind of see what we're working with. These are, that's not one, but right here, these are high, high quality trees. No joke, animating trees for that matter. Some of y'all thinking about it. Uh, they are moving, they're not just standing still. These are animated and they look freaking incredible. If you look at this right here, say this picture, you're going to think that. It's real, I, I would. Uh, but I have some exponential fog in here, and this is Lumen as well. I just added a directional light. No, no, too, nothing too fancy. Um, but what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to package this up, and I'm going to play around in it with the soldier that we had in my previous video. So let's go ahead and check this out in a packaged exe. All right, so here we are in the packaged EXE file. I'm just going to wait for everything to load up. Uh, we have the RTX 4090 MSI Trio with a 850-watt power supply running with an Intel 10900K. All right, so that's my setup. And if I press F10, let me take a look at the settings real quick. We have full screen, high settings right now. So this is not your fullest quality. So we're going to start there. Let's go with high. And our press F10. And here's what we're working with. I did add some enemies in here. But um, we're going to try and see if we can find them. So as you can see right now, we're at 70 degrees, 45 frames per second. 4K with a bunch of nanite trees. You can tell. Actually, this is a good example of this. Before is a nanite tree and the right side is not. So pretty much eventually, we're going to have a lot of high poly assets in video games because of nanite unreal engine 5 that my folks is just insanity all right i'm gonna try and find some high quality nanite trees to kind of replace the oak trees that you see right here so we can have an entire forest full of nanite trees and then we're gonna run this demo once again to see how it will perform so right there we're also running virtual shadow maps in this map so we are not really being too nice to this unreal engine 5.1 and rtx 4090 so i'll walk around here a little bit again here's a left and right let me go ahead and go to my body cam view right side is nanite left side is not even though they're not similar you can kind of tell the difference here and i guess this is a good time to actually change the setting to a lower setting because some of y'all actually want to check it out in a lower scenario so i'll go to 1440p at let's max it out to ultra all right so 1440p at ultra here's what you're working with all right i press v here we're now running the rtx 4090 at 23 frames per second at 1440p at ultra ultra setting and to me it actually looks like 4k in high as well but you know some of y'all like to game in 1440p but to be honest to me whenever i game i still run 19 20 10 80. i would never especially a third person shooter or a first person shooter i would never run that at 4k or 8k that's just that's just dumb um i always go for performance so you're probably asking yourself why would you even get an rtx 490 well it's nice to see me die in high quality whenever i get beat so at least I die in, in a beautiful way. So we're running at 18 frames per second now. I love these trees because they're kind of like side by side. And you can really tell the difference. 
76 degrees, 100% usage, and it's using about 10 gigs of VRAM from the 24 gigs that the RTX 4090 has. And again, let me just put this in perspective, this card costs as much as an iPhone. All right, and my goodness, this just looks incredible. And it actually looks a lot better in my 4K monitor, so it's you're still losing some quality because of the YouTube compression, so just to kind of let you know that. Um, the only way you can really tell what it looks like on what I'm looking at is, you know, if you run the same game. But I'm hoping you can kind of tell how good it looks. So this is a 1440p at ultra settings. Let's change it up now to high. Let's go to high. Press OK. Same thing at 1440p. Press F10. That's going to load all the stuff. Now we're getting a solid 60 frames per second. And I'm not sure if you can tell. Uh, the quality on everything else, pretty much, the detail, you can tell it's less. I can see it on my end, and the cool thing is I have, like, bad vision. So, yeah, this is a little bit blurrier than before. You know, it still looks pretty good, though, at 1440p high settings. And this is running at, like, 60 frames per second. So this is definitely, definitely playable. Now, I'm not sure if you messed around last year when Unreal Engine 5 first came out. Um, what I did notice is that, you know, before with virtual shadow maps, we had a lot of shadow flickers whenever you're using Lumen, but and global illumination for reflection as well. Um, I feel like the newest version, Preview 2, I didn't really get a lot of time in Preview 1. I feel like there are less shadow noise, as you can see that right there. That was... A lot more evident whenever Unreal 5 released last year whenever they first introduced Lumen but I can guarantee you at least to me it looks like those shadows are really starting to get better Lumen and Nanite and Global Illumination reflections are really starting to look really good Oh, fix that. It's shooting up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I gotta fix that. I don't like crosshairs. Let me see if I can get the pistol. I think the pistol. Yeah, the pistol's good. 60 frames per second. Let's swap it now to, I want to see it in 1080, I'll put it in 1080p as well. And let's crank this up to ultra. Alright, so this is 1080p ultra settings. No DLSS by the way. Because um, it's not available for uh, 5.1 yet. So we're getting about 30 frames per second at 1080 ultra. Yeah, I wouldn't play a shooter with his FPS. It's like 28. Might play a solo game. Four frames per second at ultra. Where are all the enemies at? I just kind of show you. I put six enemies in this map, and I have no idea where I put them. So, 
Let's go ahead and do our last test with Nanite Trees, and it's going to be 4K Ultra. It's time. All right, a 4K Ultra. This is what you get. 4K Ultra, ladies and gentlemen. We had 13 frames per second. Obviously, this map is not optimized. This map was put together by one person with zero game developing uh, experience whatsoever. So this is not optimized at all. But I'll tell you what. It looks freaking good. I don't even think that I don't even think that's nanite. Yeah, this looks incredible. 14 frames per second. We're running this at 4K, 75 Celsius degrees Celsius. Really, really, really dense forest. We're at 12 right now as I walk in the valley in the shadow of blue screen of death. Golly. I mean, let me know in the comments below if you think, oof, 4K Ultra, my goodness. And I'm looking at my, my screen recording right now. The difference is, you, it's still a lot less detailed on my recording than what I'm actually seeing on my monitor. This looks insane. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go ahead and use Nanite Trees, put it in a map, package the game or an EXE, and then play around it, kind of see what kind of FPS we're getting. Um, obviously, a 4K Ultra, even the RTX 4090, again, with a non-optimized scene, um, it's not going to get 30 frames per second. This is all oof. brute force, no DLSS, no upscaling. Alright, well, that's pretty much it, y'all. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching.